I want to thank everyone for coming tonight in the neighborhood group. The role of the councilor. Uh, the city manager will present the budget, the proposed budget, and the council gets to look it over. <clears throat> and uh, they can make adjustments, they can make changes, they can approve the budget and, and in the process. The, the, the second part is trying to make cuts or raise revenues. And when you look at the, the um, budget as it stands, you've got three ways to get money. One is local aid, property taxes, and local receipts. One area where Lola is lacking and raises money is, I, I believe, in the business community. And um, we have to get more space in, in the city. From the, from the first days I was running, I said, we have to look ahead, we have to plan ahead for the city, and we have to partner with the university. Um, after knocking on doors and going across the city, Lola not only lacks space, but it, like, it lacks safe space for the businesses. And we look at the university now with the incubator, so we have to, we have to begin to partner with them, and we have to um, keep those businesses in. I don't know how many of those businesses have left, but we have to partner with the university and keep them. When it comes to cuts, there's actually two areas I looked at. Um, you really don't want to cut the police, the fire, and the schools, and that's about 75% of the budget with benefits. So now you look down. One area where I looked at was the Arena Enterprise Fund. They were going to put money into the arena every year for maintenance. We have sold it. I don't think that money's been put. We can put that in the general fund while we can plan for the debt. The other is an area called maintenance refit. The city gives the school department money every year. And um, they also supply a service. The nurses, uh, the DPW plowing the um, grounds and things like that in the winter. And uh, maybe that's another area we could look at, have the school department do that, or take some, some time off. Them. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. There's a couple of birthdays here. One is Mary Carmel. She's still here. And Rita Mercy. Is here. Thank you. As we look forward with the budget, um, Lola's done pretty good the past couple of years. There's about 500 million invested out of 600 million in the mills. Um, as my good friend Bill Martin pointed out, businesses are coming into the city, adding to the tax revenue. I want a one raise plan to bring business into this city. And when, as we do, I want to take that money and invest it in the city. I want to invest it in businesses, schools, uh, police, fire, employees, and uh, I want to redo the infrastructure. As the debt comes down from the schools, we can invest in the infrastructure in the city. We can make it better. We can have people come to the city. I talked about the arena a little earlier. We can take the money that was put aside, put it back in the general fund. Maybe we can take the money down the road and invest in the city. Um, these are the ideas I have. I don't want to look back. I don't want to cut. I want to invest. Every dime we invest, we invest in ourselves. We're going to make the city better. I talked a little bit about the effort with the um, School department, maybe we can partner with them for facilities. Thank you.